Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be trying out AF94, which is Halsey's second brand. Now this one is at a more affordable price point. This is actually her drugstore brand that's going to be available at Walmart, as well as online on the AF94 store. Um, so this is really cool to see. I've never seen anything like this. She came out with 12 products so far in this initial launch, and they seem pretty promising. I did give all the products a swatch. I'm excited to see how they perform the way they're meant to be used, but I wanted to read the little PR package because I think it's important to get some context on why she launched another brand. So on this big box, it says that she created AF94 so that all of you can choose that thrill of standing out with intense high performance color and an accessible price. Although you'll find subtle nods to the 90s throughout the collection, this brand is made for the now. However, that looks for you. Play, create, and be you with AF94. And the 94 is actually her birth year. I just learned that. There's a lot of fun colors to be played with today. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's jump into it. So I'm starting off with my base because besides blush, they don't have any complexion products. So I'm going to start off with this one. This is the Playdate Multi-Use Cheek and Lip Color in the shade If You Dare, which is a very different blush color than I gravitate towards. It's like kind of purpley and mauve-y. I don't have all of the shades. Um, they sent me like a curated bunch of colors here, but in these, they have five shades. I'm curious to see what this is gonna look like on me. It looks like it has a little bit of a golden sheen. Yeah, it's like a straight up purple blush. Yeah, I don't really have any other colors like this, but now that I'm blending it out, it has more of like a pinky undertone that I wasn't expecting, but it is really pretty. Yeah, that's cute. I blend it out really nicely as well. They feel a little bit balmy, which I would expect for something that can go on your lips as well, but let's see how that lasts. Cute and different color, and it performed nice. Uh, they also have the AF94 Plead the Fifth 5-in-1 Face Mist. On the website, it says that it's a do-it-all face mist that delivers an instant dose of luminosity while acting as a makeup primer or a refreshing pick-me-up throughout the day. Okay, hold on. I should get it going. Okay, there we are. Oh, hello. The mister is a little bit inconsistent. Like all of the misters in my life. The, the man kind. <laughs> but when it's working good, it's a nice fine mist and it doesn't smell overpowering. If anything, I don't really smell anything. So now let's move on to eyes. I'm just gonna put some eye primer down. I'm going to be using the About Face one. <laughs> Feels kind of fitting. So I'm gonna have to map out what I wanna do with the eyes because there's quite a few things in front of me. So first up, these are the Shadow Boxer Eye Crayons. So there are 10 shades. I have three in front of me. So I have this purple one, which is Silent Film. Then the golden middle one is the shade Gilded Gaze. And the blue, which is very pretty, is Marquee Moon. They also have the Backline Liquid Eyeliners. And they have 10 shades in these as well. I have three again. Oh, and all of their products are vegan and cruelty-free. I forgot to mention that in the intro. So I have these three shades. The black is named Eyes Wide Shut. The cobalt blue is the shade by Bind Sky. I'm not sure what that is. I Googled it and it said, find out your ancestry. So I don't know what that is. And then, <laughs> and then the yellow is I Saw Sparks. And the last eyeliner are the 69 gel liners. I have two shades, but there are eight shades in total. These two over here, this nice teal is the shade Atomic. Uh, the deep blue is my Zool. I don't know what that is either. Google says it's cancer. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm not having a good Google day. So I have a bunch of random colors to play with. I think I'm gonna go with the blues just so I can try to use everything. I'm gonna try to figure something out. But before I do that, I'm going to set the center of my face because I, I didn't do so yet, but I wanted to wait for the blush. I'm just gonna be using my Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Feathery. Immediately I'm seeing like an ombre eyeliner. I'm first starting off with this teal 
69 eyeshadow, I mean liner. And I'm going to start by putting this in my inner, oh no, inner portion. And all of her products are under $10. I think the most expensive thing are these joy stickers. And these are 10 bucks. This shade doesn't feel the most glidey, but it does have pretty great pigmentation. Now I'm just going to switch to the other shade. I'm going to try to fade them into one another. This one isn't the most creamy either, but the pigmentation is definitely there. For an $8 pencil, like this is working really, really well. It's a little tiny bit crumbly, but it's very consistent and not patchy. And you can blend out those little crumbles pretty easily. Now, if this was like a $40 pencil or something ridiculous like that, I would say absolutely not. But for $8, not bad, not bad at all. I'm going to try to incorporate this yellow. This is the shade I saw Sparks. I feel like I got this ombre done pretty quickly. Do I just leave it at these two marks? I feel like that looks kind of neat. Ooh, I'm just gonna do like two Vs on the inner and outer. I don't wanna bring it all in here because I think it's going to thicken the eyeliner too much. It is turning a little bit green just because that blue is so potent, but this seems to be pigmented, really pigmented for a yellow, in fact. We'll see if it dries down crumbly, but I think that looks pretty cool. I was thinking of putting this Shadow Boxer blue in the crease, but I feel, I don't know, I don't feel like it's right. I don't, I don't feel like it's right. I'm gonna have to save these for another time. I'm going to do this eye and I'll be right back. Guys, look, I look exactly like the PR box. The shirt, the blues, the yellows, and the box. So here are both eyes. So now moving on to mascara. She came out with uh, I think four shades. Let me let me double check my little thingy. They're named Push to Start. They're high impact volumizing mascara, and there's four shades. I have the black, and this shade is Semi Charmed. I'll try to swatch it on my hand. I'm too curious. I want to see what this purple mascara looks like but they also have some lashes as well, so I'm kind of debating on putting that on, and if I do, I might have to put on the black, but I'm gonna try the purple on one eye. Let's see how this goes. I don't think I've ever tried a purple mascara, especially this kind, it's kind of pastel-y, so I wonder what it's gonna look like. I don't know. The wand is this shape. It's pretty opaque. I was kind of, doubting it. So there's the purple. I don't I'm not gonna sit here and say I love it. I don't know if I'd ever really reach for it. Wow that plane sounds like it's so close to my house. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this look would definitely benefit from a black mascara but maybe with something more subtle. I, I think it looks really nice against my green eyes or even this on the lower lash line. I just think that with this specific look it doesn't look that great. Let's try the black one on the other eye. There's also a blue mascara and I believe like a coral. So really fun, different things that you don't really see at the drugstore much. I mean, I feel like we used to when I was younger, there were some really funky things, but they never really performed very well. But this seems to truly have high performance. The products on my eyes so far have performed really nicely. This mascara isn't as volumizing as I would like. It feels dry. I'm really taking my time pushing it through my lashes and it doesn't seem to build very well. Really have to like comb it through. Not my fave, not my fave. So here, here's a side-by-side -side difference of the black versus the purple. Let me know what team you are, team purple or black. I am team both, black on top, purple on bottom. Let's try it. I'm surprised this covered the black pretty well. Okay, and here are the eyes. I really like the purple on the lower lash line. It adds extra spice. 
this is a fun look. I'm happy I pulled this out of this thing. Um, so now for the lashes, I'm not sure if I like this style. They came out with three styles. There's one that I do really like. It's the faux winged demi lashes. They look really cute, but they sent over the high volume lashes and they're I think too high volume for my tastes. This is what they look like when I rest it on my eyeball. You know, it's just like a little bit much for me. <laughs> I trim them and I just angle them, maybe. Perhaps, they're only $5. And that's a lot of volume for five bucks. And I'm just using the inner portion instead of the outer edge. I think I can, I, th I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. That didn't sound very confident at all, but I'm going to blend them in. And here are the eyes. I now feel like a bird. I went through a lot today, felt like a box. Felt like Dory, now I'm a bird. Ooh, what do I want to do? Like a little green star? Or perhaps, no, that's way too big of a heart. Maybe this little heart. A black star? Let's do a black star. I think I'm gonna keep it at that. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> so now let's move on to lip products. There's quite a few. I also wanted to quickly mention these. They're just little face wipes. They're biodegradable. You get 30 of them. And I was just using them to wipe off swatches and stuff, but they work pretty well. I don't really use um, wipes anymore, but I'm gonna use them because I have them and it's nice that they're biodegradable. I prefer using like a makeup remover cloth to wipe off my swatches. I always have those on check and then I just wash them and it's just simpler. I don't have to spend money later and feel like it's better. So now for lips, there's three products. So there's the liquid lipsticks. They're called Majorly Mattes and there are 10 shades. There's also the scribble sticks which are glossy lip crayons and there are eight shades available and then finally we have glosses they're called give them lip and there are how many shades six shades so there's quite a few shades in everything it's really awesome to see uh i'm going to first try on this uh scribble stick this is the shade still the one i want to see how this feels oh that's pretty it is pretty glossy this heavily reminds me of the gloss sticks from Nude Sticks. Very much so. So that's that. I think that's really nice. Curious about this gloss. Let's give it a shot. I just have the clear one. What's it called? Do you see it? <laughs> that's funny. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Really not sticky, but a very glass-like sheen. Wow, that's nice. It reminds me of a non-sticky version of the Glossier Gloss, like that really rich lip texture. Not, doesn't feel like the Tower 28 ones. It feels more like a classic gloss. There's that resistance. It's not like a lip oil or lip jelly feeling. It's a gloss, but very, very, very volumizing. That's beautiful. Ooh, I really like that. And then finally, we have the Majorly Mattes. I have a couple shades. These are the three I have. So this one is BB Doll. Then we have Sucker Punch, which, oh my god, and Dream a Lie. I feel like this will look punkish with everything happening. Just because I'm going in with a very deep color, I'm going to line my lips with a similar shade. This is just the MAC Vino lip pencil. Oh, this is gonna look kind of cool. Okay, okay, okay. Again, I'm going in with the shade Dream a Lie. You wanna see? I'm happy I chose the dark shade just to see if they were streaky or anything. Not at all. Who is this? <laughs> I don't know. I feel pretty badass though. This brand definitely brought out a really fun side of me. I really enjoy how this looks overall. There's just a few things that I want to say about some of the formulas, um, but overall I think this was a huge success. I am far more impressed than I thought I was going to be. The eyes are killer. So fun. The lip color with everything going on is really awesome. I'm gonna start off by saying I don't know how I feel about the uh, shadow boxers. These are the only products I didn't get to play around with today. The things I am most excited about my experiences so far 
for sure the gloss. This was a really, really, really nice formula. And I don't really like the About Face gloss formula. This is very different. It's very lacquer-like. It gives so much glow and it fills in your lip lines. It felt really awesome. I want to try the tinted version. I need to try the tinted version. I also really liked the blush stick and I really like how they sent me this color because it's very different but I love the way it looks on my cheeks and it stayed put. It looks exactly the same as I put it on so that's awesome to see. I like how there's a little bit of a sheen in there. It just adds more dimension. I didn't try this on my lips which I, I forgot to. It's too late now. I'm not going to do this whole business again but I'm going to have to try that out but excited about that. The liquid liners felt very promising. They seem to be very consistent. They're not sheer and this yellow is actually staying put really well. It doesn't seem to be crumbling at all. It's very pigmented. I just needed to do one little swipe and it was perfect. Um, I did build it up a little bit though just to cover the green and to make it and to make sure that it really popped but it does really pop and it feels comfortable on the eye. Very excited about these. I'm gonna have to try the black and the blue of course but so far I'm impressed. Same with the gel liners. They were a little bit tuggy. They aren't the creamiest or glidiest. <laughs> Overall, they did blend into one another really easily. I got a good amount of working time and the pigmentation is where I'm most impressed by. You can't really find colorful eyeliners like this that perform this well and this opaque. I've never seen that from the drugstore. That's what I'm trying to say is there, I'm impressed. And I'm also very excited about the scribble stick. I think this is really pretty. I wanna check out the other colors because I'm not in love with this specific color, maybe with one of my favorite lip liners. Just curious to see what they, what else they offer. Um, and now for the products that I was just okay about. So first with the matte liquid lipstick, I don't know if this is something I'm going to reach for much. I am not much of a liquid lip person anymore, unless if it's like the Fenty Beauty red lipstick or the about face red one i only really reach for a bright bright red because i know it's going to stay put and it looks amazing but these ones feel pretty sticky like i don't i can't tell you i'm going to be wearing this for much longer there's a lot of good about it let's say that there's it's not streaky it doesn't feel the most drying but it is quite sticky and for the mascaras, I like how there's some fun colors in them, but I don't know how much I'll be reaching for the purple and the black was just kind of lackluster for me. I really had to work it through my lashes and even in the end, I wasn't very happy with my result. And same with the Plead the Fifth 5-in-1 Face Mist. I just am not a huge face mist person, but this one did feel quite nice. I don't feel greasy. I feel like it did give me a lot of glow without leaving my face feeling heavy. Um, it's just not something I see myself reaching for often, but it might be a different case for you if you really love face mists and things like that. And for the things that I could go without, I could go without these lashes. They're not my favorite. I think they're just too much for my tastes, but that's very subjective to person to person. For me, I don't really need uh, wipes, but they do perform really well. They took off the makeup really easily. I don't have any stainage or anything, and I like how they're biodegradable. I just, I don't use wipes. <laughs> And lastly, this is just like a cute little option that they have. Of course, I'm not going to be raving about these, but I mean, this did add a lot of fun to the look. I'm really excited to see what she comes out with next. I think this is a really great first impression to a brand. The products performed really, really well. There wasn't any like complete flops or complete fails for me. Everything was workable and performed well. I think this is a really great first introduction. But now I'm excited to see what you guys think about this brand, but I think that's all I have to say today. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. It would help me out so very much. And I'll make sure to link all of these products in the description down below, as well as the other things I use for my base. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.